Hey guys, Lampen and Etil here again with episode 21 of my top bargains of the week. And as usual, the players that I normally trade are in the 4-1-2-1-2 formation. And I'm also on the Xbox 360 as usual, as you should know by now. Please keep in mind that there is a thing called EA tax, which takes 5% of every player you sell. And also keep in mind that this series is called my top bargains of the week. So these are trades that I made during the whole week, which might explain some price changes until the point when you watch this video. On the 10th place this week, Stankovic, 83 rated center defensive midfielder from Serbia, plays for Inter Milan in the Serie A. He has got 74 in pace, which is not the best, but also not the worst for a center defensive midfielder. 75 defending is not too great either, but his other stats are pretty good. 86 in shooting is great. He's a good long shot as well, 83 in passing and 18 dribbling, so he's quite solid but there are of course some better center defensive midfielders in the Serie A. On place 9 this week, Tim Wiese, 86 rated goalkeeper, plays for Werder Bremen in the German Bundesliga and he's from Germany, 92 in diving and 85 handling and positioning and also 95 in reflex which is very very good. His kicking is yeah, pretty bad as you can see, but his reflex and his diving stat make make up for this. He's got he makes really great saves in my opinion, and he's a very good goalkeeper. And if you can't afford an inform Neuer for your Bundesliga squad, then this inform version of Tim Wiese is a pretty good choice to get. On place eight this week, Jefferson Fafan, 84 rated right midfielder, plays for Schalke in the German Bundesliga, and he is from Peru. His stats are pretty great in my opinion, 87 in pace, 88 dribbling, also got 4 star skill moves I believe, so this is a very good combination of pace and dribbling. Also 82 in shooting and 80 in passing, which is not too bad at all, but he's a pretty good and cheap player to get if you want to have a full in from Bundesliga squad, or if you for example prefer Fafan over Robben in the Bundesliga. On place 7 this week, Alexis Sanchez, this is the 85 version of him, there's also an 83 inform version and an 86 inform version, which is even better. He, this one plays for Udinese Culture in the Serie A, he's from Chile, but as you all know he recently moved to Barcelona. He's got 89 in pace and 92 in dribbling, which is always a very good combination, two high stats there. Also got 5 star skill moves and the player trade. 84 shooting is very good for a right midfielder as well, and 77 passing is not too bad either. His only weak point is probably his strength, which is not too good, but his dribbling makes up for that, and he's a really good player to get. From the 6th place this week, Artur Boruc, 82 rated goalkeeper from Fiorentina in the Serie A, and he is from Poland. His stats overall are not the best, but he is pretty cheap, 80 in diving, 84 handling, 86 reflexes and 81 positioning is very cheap and if you want to have a full inform squad in the Serie A probably then yeah, he doesn't cost you many points and is yeah, quite a solid goalkeeper. On place 5 this week Marek Hamšík, 86 rated center attacking midfielder from Napoli in last week's episode I believe there was the 87 rated version of him. <coughs> Sorry. This 86 rated version has got 85 in pace and in dribbling, 86 shooting, 84 passing, also very good at long shots, but um, he's not as good as the 87 rated version as you can remember, if you can remember his stats. But he's quite a good player to get in my opinion and pretty cheap actually for a 86 rated player. On the 4th place this week, Francesco Totti, 85 rated center attacking midfielder from AS Roma in the Serie A and he is from Italy. In last week's episode there was the 87 rated version of him. This 85 one has got 75 in pace, which is not the best to be honest, but otherwise he's pretty good. 90 in shooting, 89 in passing and 88 dribbling. I believe he has got 4 star skill moves, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But overall, very good player and as you can see on the screen he won't cost you that many coins. On the third place this week he was in last week's episode as well, Montolivo, 85 rated center defensive midfielder from Fiorentina in the Serie A. He is from Italy, 18 pace which is very good for a center defensive midfielder in my opinion, 
89 passing, 82 dribbling and then 77 defending and shooting. Overall quite solid as I explained in last week's episode already. On the second place now the 84 version of Francesco Totti. Again centre attacking midfielder plays for Roma in the Serie A is from Italy. He's got 75 in pace just as the 85 version of him but then 88 in shooting, in passing and in dribbling which is overall pretty good and he is a bit cheaper of course as the 85 version but not too much a difference between these two versions of him. And now finally on the first place this week my absolutely favorite center back in the game, I mean ultimate team for FIFA 11, Thiago Silva plays for IC Milan in the Serie A and he is from Brazil. This is the 85 version of him, there's also an 86 one which costs yeah, a lot more in my opinion. This one has got 86 in pace which is absolutely phenomenal for a center back in this game. Also 84 defending, 87 heading, he's very very strong. Also got 77 in dribbling which is pretty impressive for a center back. And on ultimate team I believe he has got 3 star skill moves. So he's overall my absolutely favorite center back. I love to play with him in my Brazil squad and yeah, he's the best in my opinion. So we are at the end of this week's episode guys. I hope you enjoyed as always. If you did so please leave a like. It helps me immensely. All the likes are it's just phenomenal for me. I think on the last episode I got like 94 likes which is yeah, just incredible. I really appreciate all of your feedback and your support. Please subscribe to my channel Lamp 92 if you haven't already and if you like the content you see here. And I'll see you guys later.